give us some insights into this Futran system and how it has developed from the initial stages to what it is now. We developed the system quite rapidly. Uh, if you think about last year, beginning of last year, we developed the first prototype running inside a laboratory, and that was on a 60 meter track. By the end of last year, we had a 90 meter track. And then approximately uh, three months ago, we went live with a one kilometer track that's running outside. And the difference is quite profound. If you test the system under controlled conditions inside a laboratory, there's no wind, weather, lightning. Um, you can't test it at full weight. Outside, full weight, full speed, all the elements that you have to face. So it was a rapid development, but it was a very, very successful rapid development. And in terms of now your, your recognition that you've received um, for this innovation, just give us a bit of some insights into this uh, this award, mm, the Swedish Steel Prize. Yes, that's uh, that's one of you know, it's one of those things that you pride yourself on as a company to 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 be recognised by the international community. Mm -hmm. The Swedes have always been known to be the leaders in the world of, of super strong steels and the best steels in the world. All the best steels in the world traditionally come from Sweden. Mm -hmm. So they actually initiated this concept of recognizing the, the most innovative use of special steels in the world. And when they saw what we were doing, they very quickly got interested, um, sent out the engineers, uh, started working with us in a partnership, and then they nominated us, SSAB nominated us for this, uh, for this award. And uh, lo and behold, we made the shortest of four, which is, uh, 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 a bit of a surprise for us because we are up against such uh, internationally recognized big companies. Uh, but from a, from a recognition point of view, it really is something special. It shows what we can do locally. It shows what South African engineers are still capable of. It shows what the South African community is still capable of. We actually did stuff, and not just one, it's various, various innovations that led them to the point of saying that they want to put us into the, into the finals. Um, and that recognition is important, it's very important. It's important for the local, local engineering community to understand and it's, it's important for the world to understand that this is really done on a, on a world class standard. It's not an African development, it's a world development. What are the possibilities and, and what are we looking at in terms of the trialling and, and models for the actual system itself going forward? Right now we're at the point where we've done sufficient testing um, outside under operating conditions to, to go out to market. We've had some of the biggest mining companies out there at the site, they saw it run, they look at this thing and their comments they make to us is, wow, there's no reason why they can't start deploying this. And we fully agree with them. So right now we're going to keep on testing for them for, for many, many years outside um, and keep on improving. That the, there's, there's so many innovations still possible around it and so many improvements still possible. But that doesn't stop us from going to market. So right now we're collaborating with the first clients where we say we will go out there, work with you. In the next three to six months we'll start deploying. Um, well, we're actually planning to start our first deployments now in January already. Mm -hmm. And then six months later uh, it, it should be up and running. And the, the last lessons we're going to learn there is, is the operating conditions at those specific mines. And a coal mine, a gold mine, a platinum mine, a copper mine, they all work differently. And our system needs to be, to be flexible enough to very quickly adapt to all of those. So that's the last phase that we're going into now, is making sure that we can, we can collaborate with our clients to actually customize the system for their specific requirements. And that's around the corner, we're starting right now.